Hi, it's DL, and this is yoga for really cold mornings. So um, grab your woolies and meet me on the mat. So we'll begin in a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. You can be sitting in easy pose on your knees or even in a chair. We're gonna do some breath work because that is one of the most excellent ways to increase your body heat in a quick way. So first, let's just tune in. Have your hands in Gyo Mudra resting on your knees. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you, or simply gaze downward. And just notice the air temperature in the room. Sense of coolness on your skin. Notice the parts of your body that don't feel cold. And just allow your body to soften in your awareness. Notice how maybe if you are sitting on the ground, there might be a temperature from the ground coming up through the body. And you might notice the places where your body is touching itself through crossed legs or where the wrists meet the knees, that there is a bit more warmth. Letting the lower body release to gravity. Don't hold yourself up, don't hold your legs up. If you need something under the weight of the knees, feel free to put some blocks or cushions there. And as you release to the ground, feel the lengthening through the spine, honoring the natural curves, but reaching into the space above the crown of the head. From this expanded and also released place, let us do some Sufi grinds. So, this is just to warm up the spine before we do the breath work. You're going to um, release the spine towards the back of the body, rounding, and then coming off to the side and forward. And we're going to uh, put the breath with this motion. So as you come forward, breathe in. And as you round to the back, exhale. Now the chin is staying neutral to the floor, so we're, uh, we're not doing anything with the head, just rounding the spine, creasing through the hips as we come forward and hollowing through the belly as we move back. So you can go as fast or slow as you like here, especially once you kind of, you know, the first few times, especially if you just woke up like I did, then you're going to want to move pretty slowly. And then once you start to warm up, you can get a little faster in your rotation. Breathing in and out to the back, in, out to the back. And it might be a little effortful to take this breath. Do it. I mean, I'm already feeling a lot more body warmth than I was before I started. And you might be noticing the same thing. And then reverse direction. And 
Don't lose that sense of groundedness through the lower body and extension through the spine as you move. Good, and release, coming back to center. Just sit with your eyes closed or downcast for a few moments and feel the effects of that movement. Notice where you feel the energy, where you feel the warmth. Notice what's still cold, like maybe your fingertips or your nose or your ears. See if a little more can release towards the ground and a little more lift towards the sky. Now I'm going to invite you to come onto your knees if it's not comfortable for you to do so. You can stay in easy pose or in your chair. Feel free to have a block underneath you if that is more comfortable or um, a cushion or anything to lift your hips. Placing the hands on the thighs, we're going to articulate the spine and cat-cow um, from this position with the breath. So as you move forward, you're going to breathe in, opening the chest, bringing the shoulder blades back towards each other, not down, and then rounding the spine. Um, now here you can bring the chin to the chest, so you can lift the head a little with each movement just to make you know, the natural progression along the spine, in and out. Now you can go as fast or slow as you want to here. Warm up first, perhaps, and then you can get a little faster but stay with the breath. And rather than feel in your body this tightening around everything in order to move, see if you can release the tightening and just allow the spine its release, its, its fluid expression Taking a break if you need to. Whew. Deep breath, hold, squeeze up on the root lock. Uddiyana Bandha and Jaho Bandha. And release. So the hat came off. I hope you're feeling the warmth. Just rest and notice the effects of what we've done so far. So for this next practice, I would recommend you either do it in easy pose or on a chair if you're not comfortable sitting like this and make sure that you have a straight spine. If you need to put a block or cushion under your hips so that you do not have any kind of rounding through the spine, please do it. Very important for this one. Okay, so extending the arms out to the sides, we're gonna bring the thumbs over the shoulders so that they are behind, other fingertips in front, and we're going to be twisting to the left with the inhale, exhaling to the right. Let's go. This is through the nose breath. 
Go as fast or as slow with it as you want to. As you warm up, you can go faster. Doing good, see if you can keep it up. Breathe in deep, hold the breath, squeeze up on the root block, and release the breath. Notice what you feel. There might be some dizziness, light dizziness, lightheadedness. Might be some nausea if you have something to cleanse from the body. So know if you feel those things, you can just rest for a moment, let them be there. Maybe get a sip of water if you have any nausea. But also notice the heat that you feel, and maybe the release through the shoulders. Okay, we're going to come onto our backs and place our hands under the sacrum. So um, you can just lay your hands flat right under that triangular bone at the base of the spine. We're going to have the legs extended and the arms again under the sacrum. Now, for those of you who um, might not find it comfortable to do this full pose, the first part of the pose will be to have the head resting and then lifting one foot at a time, okay? The next um, variation of the pose would be to have the head resting and then lift both legs And then the um, third variation of the pose would be to have the head lifted, looking down towards the feet, and the feet lifted. And you can do any variation thereof. So if you want to have your head up and one foot, that's fine too. So whoever you choose, we're going to be in this pose. We're going to do breath of fire. Ready? If you need to break, by all means, take it. I'm betting you're feeling that fire now. Deep breath in and hold, and release. Relax the body, laying in Shavasana, feeling that heat now circulating, 
Feel the fire in the belly. And feel it radiate down each limb and up to the heart and down to the arms, right into the fingertips and toes. Deep breath and release. Taking a moment of quiet to feel and this is a really good time to set an intention for your day. Now that you've created this inner heat, this creative fire, how will you use that energy. Let's take a long body stretch. <sighs> and when you're ready, you can either roll onto your side or you can rock on the spine if you have a decent surface to do that upon. To come to a seated position. So I hope you're feeling nice and toasty now and ready for your day. Thanks for joining this little impromptu session of uh, Tranquil Yoga. Have a great day.